Peace and blessings to everybody watching right now. I want to do a follow up quickly of the last video. I want you to imagine that you're in a computer game. I know some people say that this is the matrix, but you are consciousness having a physical experience. So you've this avatar you've chosen for a particular reason to be here and to serve a particular purpose. So imagine other people are doing exactly the same. Now, just imagine, for example, now this happened to me in Jerusalem. Um, I, my, my vibration was super, super high. Um, whenever I go to holy places, especially if I've got a connection, because my past life was in Jerusalem, past life as Jesus was, was very apparent. And at one point, as we're driving to the Church of the Nativity where I was born, Jesus was born, I um, my I got downloads, so I'm the Divine Sophia. I get lots of codes that I can put into the matrix, if that's what you want to call it. And there was a poor woman begging, and I said to my companion, who was traveling with me, who is Mary Magdalena Incarnate, I said to her, don't pay attention to that. That's a program trying to make you think there is poverty. And she just looked at me and said, you are so in your higher self. So I became very aware at that moment of the matrix and that this so-called computer game um, is being intercepted, influenced by other consciousness. Remember, we are all consciousness and energy, right? Now, imagine an interception of somebody coming in, playing the role of poverty in front of you, because I want to reinforce the idea that poverty exists, okay? Um, I want to reinforce, like, the whole COVID thing. Uh, they were reinforcing the idea that an illness was going to kill you. So these are... Mm, Programs that are put into the matrix and then stealing your consciousness is, is not really a theft, but it's tricking your consciousness into making you think that. And people were terrified, bringing you into fear. So I want you, let's just imagine the world is this huge, great, big uh, reality experience because you are essentially consciousness. And the only way you can feel, eat, taste, smell, touch and feel, uh, experience emotions is to participate in this reality. So if that was the case, you need to choose what you acknowledge. It's your choice. Choose what you acknowledge in your life. Everything exists that you want in your life. There are things that exist that you don't want in your life. So you make the decision what you want and ha be blind to anything else. Be blind to anything else. These are secrets of my uh, coming from myself as an ascended master of being one of the matrix Controllers of good, removing all the bad. So I'm bringing you the secrets here because you have the power to control your reality.